Good morning, Wichita, and good morning to all of you here this morning. I'm Mayor Lily Wu, along uh, with some of our staff with the city of Wichita. It is my pleasure to be here at the Robert J. Dole VA Medical Center this morning, joined by several community partners to provide an update on our joint community initiative to end veteran homelessness. Now, last summer, the city of Wichita, along with our community partners, announced the Home for Heroes initiative with a shared goal to reach functional zero homelessness among veterans. Today, roughly half a year after the announcement, we want to provide an update on that goal and once again ask for the community's help in ensuring that our veterans receive the respect, care, and opportunities they deserve so that they can rebuild their futures. To kick us off, I'd like to invite Steve Burt of the United Way to come up and speak. Steve. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So I'm going to be going over a few data-related updates. I know you got you can run through the slides with that, sir. Thank you. I also have these slides here in front of me, so I'm not always looking around. So We are the Coalition to End Homelessness, uh, powered by the United Way. Um, we are the collaborative applicant for the COC. And we want to talk about what is functional zero. Functional zero is how we're going to define success here and how we move forward with uh, assisting homeless veterans in getting rehoused. And as we talk about homelessness as a global perspective, we're going to talk about functional zero in that sort of also to mean ending veteran homelessness, right? Like, so it kind of means two different things at the same time. But we want to have less people entering homelessness than we have leaving homelessness. And by leaving homelessness, we mean moving into permanent housing. How do we get to functional zero? One population at a time. We're gonna start with veterans, then we move on to chronic homeless, chronically homeless individuals in households, then we move on to youth and then families. We do this by implementing and using data tracking system to record and measure who's responsible for that. Well, it would be the HMIS team, it should be my team at the United Way, and our community partners, because if they're not entering data into the system, then I can't measure data in the system. Um, we need to know everybody in our homeless community by name and by need, and that means that we've got everybody who's experiencing homelessness on a by name list. The coordinated entry team, which is a slightly separate team than mine, and partners are responsible for that. We use that information to build a system that matches unique need to resource, and our coordinated entry team and partners are responsible for that. Uh, eliminate barriers that are creating the obstacles to housing. By looking at the data, we find that there may be barriers, and we address those on a case-by-case -case basis. Um, the, the barriers also involve the community, government, nonprofits, and leaders. We need to develop new resources to fill the system gaps that are identified by the data that we're looking at. Um, and then assess what worked and bring the system to the next population. And of course, we're all responsible for that, the whole community, government, nonprofits, and leaders. Here's some updates. Uh, we did the point in time count on uh, January 23rd, 26th of 2023. On that date, we identified 49 veterans experiencing homelessness on the point in time count on that day. That includes sheltered and unsheltered veterans. On July 6, 2023, a joint announcement was made between the City of Wichita, Cedric County, the VA, and the United Way of the Plains to reach functional zero for veterans by the end of 2024, and that is to say 12-31-24. There are four benchmarks that the federal government uses to measure whether or not our community has reached functional zero or effectively ended homelessness among veterans. Those four benchmarks are developed by the United States Interagency Council on Homelessness which is a conglomeration of all the federal agencies, including the VA, that do touch individuals in some way that are experiencing homelessness. It includes the VA, HUD, uh, SAMHSA, and all of those federal agencies. There are four targets that we're going to review today and whether or not we're meeting those targets. Target one, there are zero chronic and long-term homeless veterans who are not in permanent housing as of the end date in a 90-day look back period. Chronic and long-term is defined as experiencing homelessness for over a year, um, or over the course of three years, they experience homelessness uh, for a total of 12 months, four or more times. How many chronically homeless veterans are currently in our system without housing? The actual answer is six 
chronically homeless, but there are 25 total who are experiencing homelessness um, as of last week. That number moves every day, it moves every week, but that is about where we are at also today. Are we hitting this target? No, because we're not at zero. Target two, for homeless veterans placed in permanent housing within the last 90 days, the average time from the date that we've identified them as a homeless veteran to the date of permanent housing move-in is less than or equal to 90 days. This is a number that's going to be really high for a while. It's currently at 97, which isn't terrible. The reason why it's gonna be really high is because we are now really digging in. And there are some people out there who've been experiencing homelessness for a great period of time. Um, Correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Cindy, where are you? Uh, we're, at, we're at a year. Our longest time now is about at a year. And that is an individual who's experiencing really great barriers and we're working really diligently to reduce those barriers to get that person into housing. Are we currently hitting that target? No, but once we get some of these really long-term and chronically homeless individuals housed, then we're going to be able to dig into those who are newly experiencing homelessness and kind of handle whatever easier barriers they may be when you just fall into homelessness. Target three, does the community have sufficient permanent housing capacity, which is measured by outflow exceeding inflow? Finally, some good news. How many veterans exited homelessness permanent housing in the last 90 days? 42. How many have we identified? 27. We're meeting that benchmark. Outflow has exceeded inflow. We've been in this position for about the last two months. So that is really, 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 really good news. And we're working really diligently to keep this one up. And number four is a reflection of housing first, right? So we believe in housing first. In housing first, we believe that somebody deserves to have housing. And that somebody who is experiencing homelessness and unsheltered homelessness in particular has a more difficult time dealing with mental health and substance abuse issues. So we believe that we need to put a roof over their head and then surround them with the resources they need to get well. This is a reflection of the 27 people that we've identified. Have we required them to go to treatment before we give them a house? We have not done that. Are we meeting that benchmark? Yes, there's another applause. <laughs> More updates. Because of the intentional collaboration of the COC and the coalition, there has been a 50% reduction in veteran homelessness since the beginning of 2023. That's worth applause. The number of veterans currently on the by name list, 25. Uh, once achieved, Wichita can move to the next homelessness category until we've achieved functional zero across the board. Hashtag proving it can be done. <laughs> With that, I'm gonna pass it over to Medical Center, Director. Medical Center Director. Michael, would you please come up? Okay, good morning everyone. Can everybody hear me? Great, so welcome. Thank you, Mayor Wu. Thank you, Mr. Burt and team and distinguished guests. So the Robert J. Dole VA Medical Center is dedicated to working alongside our community partners to meet functional zero for veteran homelessness in the Wichita and Sedgwick County area. Our mission is clear. Veteran homelessness must be rare and brief. To achieve this goal, we must have a clear system in place that serves the needs of our homeless veterans. First, we must provide quality outreach to ensure we are working with any veteran experiencing homelessness. The Dole VA is available 24 seven 365 to support our homeless veterans in our community. Veterans can access the 24-hour homeless hotline by calling 1-877-424-3838. The VA has been successful at promoting this resource. The Dole VA Homeless Outreach Team assessed 655 veterans through the hotline in 2023. Let's give that a round of applause. Thank you and compare that to just 216 in 2021. So veterans have same day shelter access through two sources, our homeless walk-in clinics during business hours and our 24 hour on-call support and social workers through our emergency department. We are dedicated to assessing the needs of veterans, finding real solutions for their housing crisis. Second, we must provide veterans we are assisting and supporting 
with the wraparound services that improve their, their chances for success. In addition to immediate food and shelter, including both transitional and permanent housing, the Dole VA provides veterans in our homeless program with job training, life skills development, and education. Support with the justice system navigation and community reentry from jail, treatment for addiction and depression, health and dental care. Finally, we must continue to collaborate with our partners at the federal, state, and local levels with this shared mission. It is essential that we work together as one team with housing providers, faith-based community nonprofits, and others to expand employment and affordable housing options for veterans exiting homelessness. So I'll close by repeating what the VA Secretary Dennis McDonough said in March 2023. We will not rest at the VA until every veteran has a safe, stable place to call home in this country that they fought to defend. Thank you. Well, good morning, everyone. I'm Sally Stang. I'm the director of the Housing and Community Services Department for the city. Are you guys as excited as I am? I'm very yes. excited today. <laughs> so we stand before you today to provide an update on the remarkable initiative that Wichita and Sedgwick County community has undertaken, this initiative to reach functional zero for veteran homelessness. It is a testament to the compassion, dedication, and collaborative effort of our community to address the critical issue that has long plagued our nation. Homelessness among veterans is a stark re reality that challenges the very principles that we hold dear. These are individuals who have selflessly served our country, sacrificing their own well-being for the greater good, yet too many of them find themselves without a place to call home upon returning from service. Our community has recognized this injustice and has taken bold steps to eradicate veteran homelessness. The concept of functional zero is not nearly a statistical goal, although I love the numbers, Steve. It represents a commitment to ensuring that every veteran has access to stable and permanent housing. It means that homelessness among veterans is rare, brief, and non-recurring. Our community has embraced this challenge with a multifaceted approach that involves collaboration between the city, the county, the VA, and the co uh, coalition to end homelessness, nonprofit organizations, businesses, and the community at large. Community involvement is at the heart of this initiative. It has fostered partnerships with local businesses and faith-based communities and community volunteers. Together, they form a network of support that goes beyond government programs. Our community has demonstrated that solving homelessness requires a collective effort and that the engagement of the entire community is pivotal for success. Although we have made great strides, there's still work to be done. We need more landlords willing to lease to veterans coming from homelessness. As you see in the data, if we can house those people who have been out on the street way too long very quickly, that will make a huge difference in our, in our metrics and in the lives of those veterans that we're housing. Most of these veterans come with, rep, uh, with rent assistance and comprehensive case management and only need to find a unit in which to live. Donations of household goods and furniture go a long way of turning a housing unit into a home. So for information on how to help, please go to our website at wichita.gov forward slash homes for heroes. You'll find information on how to donate goods, how to become a landlord, how to get involved. In conclusion, our community's initiative to reach functional zero for homeless veterans is a shining example of what can be achieved if the community comes together with compassion and determination. It is a beacon of hope for veterans who have faced homelessness and it inspires us to, to strive for a society where no one who has served our nation is left without a home. Together, let's support and emu emulate this noble endeavor as we work towards a future where homelessness is but a distant memory. Thank you. And thank you very much for all of our guest speakers today. Um, thank you again, Sally. And one more time, that website is wichita.gov backslash homes for heroes. 
And again, thank you to all of you for trying to help with uh, making progress in this ending homeless uh, veteran, veteran homelessness here in our community. I want to also thank the VA for hosting us today and the United Way of the Plains, their work, especially through the continuum of care. Now, the hard work of the VA, City of Wichita, and the United Way staff, along with many other community partners, has helped us push forward in this goal, and we can't do it alone, so we again urge the community to come together to continue helping with this effort. We as Wichitans have come together to make strides in this goal, and I know that we can push forward and reach functional zero homelessness in our community, not only for our veterans, but for all unhoused individuals in the city of Wichita.